Congratulations, Commander. Looks like we had a smooth run. You heading down to see the captain? Sounds like you don't trust our Turian guest. Sorry, Commander. Just having a chat with Adams down at Engineering. I didn't mean to cause any trouble. But you have to admit, something's odd about this mission. The whole crew feels it. You think the Alliance Brass is holding out on us? If all we're supposed to do is test out the stealth system, why is Captain Anderson in charge? And then there's Nihilus. Spectres are elite operatives, top covert agents. Why send a Spectre, a Turian Spectre, on a shakedown run? It doesn't add up. You don't trust Nihilus. I don't like Turians in general. It runs in my family. My grandfather fought in the first contact war, lost a lot of friends when the Turians hit us. That was 30 years ago. You can't blame Nihilus for that. No, I guess not. But it still makes me nervous to have a Spectre on board, especially a Turian. We're an Alliance vessel, human military, but Nihilus doesn't answer to the captain like the rest of us. Spectres operate outside the normal chain of command. And they don't come along just to observe shakedown runs. <laughs> Nihilus looks like he's expecting some heavy action. I don't like I'll see if I can get some answers when I see him. Good luck, Commander. I grew up on Union Prime Dock. It's not the kind of place Spectres... What do you think, Commander? We won't be staying on Eden Prime too long, will we? I'm itching for some real action. I sincerely hope you're kidding, Corporal. Your real action usually ends with me patching up crew members in the infirmary. You need to calm down, Corporal. A good soldier stays cool even under fire. Sorry, Commander, but this waiting's killing me. I've never been on a mission like this before, not one with a Spectre on board. Just treat this like every other assignment you've had and everything will work out. Easy for you to say. You proved yourself on a coups. Everybody knows what you can do. This is my big chance. I need to show the brass what I can do. You're young, Corporal. You have a long career ahead of you. Don't do something stupid to mess it up. Don't worry, ma'am. I'm not going to screw this up. What do you know about the Spectres? Only what I've heard. Spectre agents work directly for the Citadel Council. They usually work alone or in small groups. Spectres don't have any official power, though. Basically, they're a shadow organization with a mandate to preserve and protect galactic stability. Protect it at any cost. Don't forget that part. Spectres operate above the law. Why don't we have any of our own people in there? Spectres usually come from the Council races. Like the Turians. We've been trying to get a human accepted into their ranks for years now. So far, it hasn't happened. Hey, Commander, you'd make a good Spectre. You're always getting dropped into impossible situations, forced to survive unbeatable odds, just like you on a coos. I try not to think about a coos. Sorry, Commander. I, I didn't mean to offend you. I, I respect what you did there. We all do. Let's not dwell on the past, Commander. Was there something else you needed? The captain's waiting for me. Goodbye, Commander. Commander Shepard, I was hoping you'd get here first. It'll give us a chance to talk. The captain said he'd meet me here. He's on his way. I'm interested in this world we're going to. Eden Prime. I've heard it's quite beautiful. I've never been there. But you know of it. It's become something of a symbol for your people, hasn't it? Proof that humanity can not only establish colonies across the galaxy, but also protect them. But how safe is it, really? If you've got something to say, just say it. Your people are still newcomers, Shepard. The galaxy can be a very dangerous place. Is the Alliance truly ready for this? I think it's about time we told the Commander what's really going on. This mission is far more than a simple shakedown run. I figured there was something you weren't telling us. We're making a covert pickup on Eden Prime. That's why we needed the stealth systems operational. What's the payload, Captain? A research team on Eden Prime. Unearthed some kind of beacon during an excavation. It was Prothean. I thought the Protheans vanished 50,000 years ago. Their legacy still remains. The mass relays, the Citadel, our ship drives. It's all based on Prothean technology. This is big, Shepard. The last time humanity made a discovery like this, 
it jumped our technology forward 200 years. But Eden Prime doesn't have the facilities to handle something like this. We need to bring the beacon back to the Citadel for proper study. Obviously, this goes beyond mere human interests, Commander. This discovery could affect every species in Council space. Are we expecting trouble? I'm always expecting trouble. There's more, Shepard. Nihilus isn't just here for the beacon. He's also here to evaluate you. What's going on, Captain? The Alliance has been pushing for this for a long time. Humanity wants a larger role in shaping interstellar policy. We want more say with the Citadel Council. The Spectres represent the Council's power and authority. If they accept a human into their ranks, it shows how far the Alliance has come. Not many could have survived what you went through on Akuz. You showed a remarkable will to live, a particularly useful talent. That's why I put your name forward as a candidate for the Spectres. I assume this is good for the Alliance. Earth needs this, Shepard. We're counting on you. I need to see your skills for myself, Commander. Eden Prime will be the first of several missions together. You'll be in charge of the ground team. Secure the beacon and get it onto the ship ASAP. Nihilus will accompany you to observe the mission. Just give the word, Captain. We should be getting close to Eden. Captain, we got a problem. What's wrong, Joker? Transmission from Eden Prime, sir. You better see this. Bring it up on screen. Get down! out after that no calm traffic at all it just goes dead there's nothing reverse and hold at 38.5 status report 17 minutes out captain no other alliance ships in the area take us in joker fast and quiet this mission just got a lot more complicated a small strike team can move quickly without drawing attention it's our best chance to secure the beacon. Grab your gear and meet us in the cargo hold. Tell Elenko and Jenkins to suit up, Commander. We're going in. Engaging stealth systems. Somebody was doing some serious digging here, Captain. Your team's the muscle in this operation, Commander. Go in heavy and head straight for the dig site. What about survivors, Captain? Helping survivors is a secondary objective. The beacon's your top priority. Approaching drop point one. Nihilus, you coming with us? I move faster on my own. Nihilus will scout out ahead. He'll feed you status reports throughout the mission. Otherwise, I want radio silence. Ready and able, sir. The mission's yours now, Shepard. Good luck. We are approaching drop point two.
We'll see that he receives a proper service once the mission is complete. But I need you to stay focused. Aye, aye, man. Gunnery Chief Ashley Williams of the 212. You the one in charge here, ma'am? Are you wounded, Williams? A few scrapes and burns. Nothing serious. The others weren't so lucky. Oh, man. We were patrolling the perimeter when the attack hit. We tried to get off a distress call, but they cut off our communications. I've been fighting for my life ever since. Where's the rest of your squad? We tried to double back to the beacon, but we walked into an ambush. I don't think any of the others. I think I'm the only one left. Any idea what kind of enemy we're facing? I think they're Geth. The Geth haven't been seen outside the Vale in nearly 200 years. Why are they here now? They must have come for the beacon. The dig site is close, just over that rise. It might still be there. We could use your help, Williams. Aye, aye, ma'am. It's time for payback. Move out!
This is the dig site. The beacon was right here. It must have been moved. By who? Our side or the Geth? Hard to say. Maybe we'll know more after we check out the research camp. You think anyone got out of here alive? If they were lucky. Maybe hiding up in the camp. It's just on the top of this ridge, up the ramps. like they hit the camp hard it's a good place for an ambush keep your guard up oh god they're still alive what did the geth do to them Humans, thank the Maker. Hurry, close the door before they come back. Don't worry, we'll protect you. Thank you, I think we'll be okay now. It looks like everyone's gone. You're Dr. Warren, the one in charge of the excavation. Do you know what happened to the beacon? It was moved to the spaceport this morning. Manuel and I stayed behind to help pack up the camp. When the attack came, the Marines held them off long enough for us to hide. They gave their lives to save us. No one is saved. The age of humanity is ended. Soon, only ruin and corpses will remain. What else can you tell me about the attack? It all happened so fast. One second we were gathering up our equipment. The next we were hiding in the shed while the Geth swarmed over the camp. Agents of the destroyers, bringers of darkness, heralds of our extinction. We could hear the battle outside. Gunfire, screams. I thought it would never end. Then everything went quiet. We just sat there, too afraid to move, until you came along. Did you notice a Torian in the area? I saw him, the prophet, leader of the enemy. He was here before the attack. That's impossible. Nihilus was with us in the Normandy before the attack. He could have been here. I'm sorry, Manuel's still a bit unsettled. We haven't seen your Turian. We've been hiding him here since the attack. What's wrong with your assistant? Manuel has a brilliant mind, but he's always been a bit unstable. Genius and madness are two sides of the same coin. Is it madness to see the future? To see the destruction rushing towards us? To understand there is no escape? No hope? No. I am not mad. I'm the only sane one left. I gave him an extra dose of his meds after the attack. Williams, take us to the spaceport. You can't stop it. Nobody can stop it. Night is falling. The darkness of eternity. Hush, Manuel. Go lie down. You'll feel better once the medication kicks in.
Saren. Linus. This isn't your mission, Saren. What are you doing here? The Council thought you could use some help on this one. I wasn't expecting to find the Geth here. The situation's bad. Don't worry. I've got it under control. Everybody stay calm out there. We're coming out, we're not armed. Is it safe? Are they gone? We took care of them. Those things were crawling all around the shed. They would have found us for sure. We owe you our lives. Uh, I still can't believe it. When we saw that ship, I thought it was all over. It showed up right before the attack. Knew it was trouble the second I saw it. So we made a break for the sheds. Tell me everything you remember about the attack. The three of us were working the crops when that ship showed up. We just saw it and ran. I don't know what happened to the rest of the crew. They were by the garage, over near the spaceport, right where that ship came down. No way they survived. You don't know that. We survived. If they made it to the garage, they could have had a fighting chance. I have to go. Hey, Cole, we're just a bunch of these guys are soldiers. Maybe we should give them the stuff. Jeez, Blake, you've got to learn when to shut up. You have something to tell me, Cole? Some guys at the spaceport were running a small smuggling ring. Nothing major. In exchange for a cut of the profits, we let them store packages in our sheds. You're breaking the law, Cole. We're not hurting anybody. Hell, most of the time, I don't even know what's in the packages. I just thought there might be something we could use. I found a pistol. Figured it would come in handy if those things came back. Probably get more use out of it than we will. We're risking our lives to save this colony. You sure there's nothing else in here that could help us out? Yeah, there's one more thing. I was gonna sell it after this was over, but you probably deserve it more than I do. Who's your contact at the spaceport, Cole? What's his name? He's not a bad guy. I don't want to get him in trouble. Besides, I'm not a snitch. Okay, forget about it. I've got more important things to worry about. Good luck.
Commander, it's Myrus. Something's moving over behind those crates. Wait! Don't don't shoot! I'm one of you! I'm human! Sneaking up on us like that nearly got you killed. I, I am sorry, I was hiding from those creatures. My name's Pal. I saw what happened to that Turian. The other one shot him. You're saying Nihilus was murdered by a Turian? Uh, the other one got here first. He was waiting when your friend showed up. He he called him Saren. I think they knew each other. Your friend seemed to relax. He let his guard down. Then Saren killed him. Shot him right in the back. I'm just lucky he didn't see me behind the crates. Where'd Saren go after he killed Nihilus? He jumped on the cargo train and headed over to the other platform. Probably going after the beacon. I knew that beacon was trouble. Everything's gone to hell since we found it. Just that damn mothership showed up. In the attack? They killed everyone. Everyone. If I had been behind the crates, I'd be dead too. How come you're the only one who survived? Why didn't anyone else try to hide behind the crates? They never had a chance. I, I, I was already behind the crates when the attack started. Wait a minute. You were hiding behind the crates before the attack? I... Sometimes I need a nap to get through my shift. I sneak off behind the crates to grab 40 winks where the supervisor can't find me. You survived because you're lazy? If you hadn't snuck off for that nap, you'd probably be dead just like all the others. Yeah. Yeah, I guess. I don't really want to think about it. We need to find that beacon before it's too late. Take the cargo train. That's where the other Turian went. I, I, I can't stay here. I need to get away from all this.
Set the charges. Destroy the entire colony. Leave no evidence that we were here. Demolition charges. The Geth must have planted them. Hurry! We need to find them all and shut them down.
Looks like someone dropped a bomb. That must be where the Geth ship landed. Normandy, the beacon is secure. This is amazing. Actual working Prothean technology. Unbelievable. It wasn't doing anything like that when they dug it up. Something must have activated it. Roger, Normandy. Standing by. We identified the ship that touched down on Eden Prime, the Normandy, a human alliance vessel. It was under the command of Captain Anderson. They managed to save the colony. And the beacon? One of the humans may have used it. Doctor? Dr. Chakras. I think she's waking up. You had us worried there, Shepard. How are you feeling? Minor throbbing. Nothing serious. How long was I out? About 15 hours. Something happened down there with the beacon, I think. It's my fault. I must have triggered some kind of security field when I approached it. You had to push me out of the way. You had no way to know what would happen. Actually, we don't even know if that's what set it off. Unfortunately, we'll never get the chance to find out. The beacon exploded. A system overload, maybe. And the blast knocked you cold. Williams and I had to carry you back here to the ship. What's the damage, Doctor? Physically, you're fine. But I detected some unusual brain activity, abnormal beta waves. I also noticed an increase in your rapid eye movement, signs typically associated with intense dreaming. I saw... I'm not sure what I saw. Death, destruction... Nothing's really clear. Hmm. I better add this to my report. It may... Oh, Captain Anderson. How's our exo holding up, Doctor? Well, all the readings look normal. I'd say the commander's going to be fine. Glad to hear it. Shepard, I need to speak with you. In private. Aye, aye, Captain. I'll be in the mess if you need me. Sounds like that beacon hit you pretty hard, Commander. Are you sure you're okay? I don't like soldiers dying under my command. Jenkins wasn't your fault. You did a good job, Shepard. 
You said you needed to see me in private, Captain? I won't lie to you, Shepard. Things look bad. Nihilus is dead. The beacon was destroyed and Gether invaded. The Council's going to want answers. I didn't do anything wrong, Captain. Hopefully the Council can see that. I'll stand behind you and your report, Shepard. You're a damned hero in my books. That's not why I'm here. It's Saren. That other Turian. Saren's a specter. One of the best. A living legend. But if he's working with the Gith, it means he's gone rogue. A rogue specter's trouble. Saren's dangerous. And he hates humans. Why? He thinks we're growing too fast, taking over the galaxy. A lot of aliens think that way. Most of them don't do anything about it. But Saren has allied himself with the Geth. I don't know how. I don't know why. I only know it had something to do with that beacon. You were there just before that beacon self-destructed. Did you see anything? Any clue that might tell us what Saren was after? Just before I lost consciousness, I had some kind of vision. A vision? A vision of what? I saw synthetics. Geth, maybe. Slaughtering people. Butchering them. We need to report this to the Council, Shepard. <laughs> what are we gonna tell them? I had a bad dream? We don't know what information was stored in that beacon. Lost protein technology? Blueprint for some ancient weapon of mass destruction? Whatever it was. Saren took it. But I know Saren. I know his reputation is politics. He believes humans are a blight on the galaxy. This attack was an act of war. He has the secrets from the beacon. He has an army of Geth at his command, and he won't stop until he's wiped humanity from the face of the galaxy. I'll find some way to take him down. It's not that easy. He's a specter. He can go anywhere, do almost anything. That's why we need the Council on our side. We prove Saren's gone rogue, and the Council will revoke his specter status. I'll contact the Ambassador, and see if he can get us an audience with the Council. He'll want to see us as soon as we reach the Citadel. We should be getting close. Head up to the bridge and tell Joker to bring us into dock. Commander, I'm glad to see you're okay. Losing Jenkins was hard on the crew, and I'm glad we didn't lose you, too. Things were pretty rough down there. Yeah, you never get used to seeing dead civilians. Doesn't seem right somehow. But at least you stopped Saren from wiping out the whole colony. I couldn't have done it without you. We're Marines. We stick together. And I'm just sorry that we lost Jenkins. I wish I could have done something to save him. I was there. You did everything right. It was just bad luck. It's been a hell of a shakedown, Cruz. Our first mission ends with one specter killing another. The Citadel Council's not going to be happy about that. Probably use it to lever more concessions out of the Alliance. You've got a good grasp of the situation. You a career man? Yeah, a lot of biotics are. We're unrestricted, but we sure don't go undocumented. May as well get a paycheck for it. Besides, my father served. It made him proud when I enlisted. Eventually. But is that why you're here? Because of your family? I never met my parents. If they wanted to see me, they'd have contacted me after that mess a few years back. Oh, that's right, a coos. I imagine that bought you any post in the fleet. Word is we're heading for the Citadel. The captain hopes the ambassador can get an audience with the council. Tell them what Saren's been up to. Makes sense. They'd probably like to know he's not working for them anymore. Whatever happens, we'll be ready, Commander. Yes, Commander? Is there something you need? How well do you know the lieutenant? I'd never worked with him before this mission. But he has an impressive service record. 
Over a dozen special commendations. Tends to keep to himself, though. Maybe because of the headaches. It's not easy being an L2. What does that have to do with it? Well, most biotics now use the L3 implants. Lieutenant Alenka was wired for the old L2 configuration. Sometimes there are complications. What kind of complications? Severe mental disabilities, insanity, crippling physical pain. There's a long list of horrific side effects. Hayden's lucky. He just gets migraines. I should go. Goodbye, Commander. I'm glad you're okay, Commander. The crew could use some good news after what happened to Jenkins. Jenkins was a valuable part of this crew. Part of me feels guilty over what happened. If Jenkins was still alive, I might not be here. You're a good soldier, Williams. You belong on the Normandy. Thanks, Commander. I appreciate that. Things were pretty rough down there. Are you okay? I've seen friends die before. It comes with being a Marine. But to see my whole unit wiped out, and you never get used to seeing dead civilians. But things would have been a lot worse if you hadn't shown up. We couldn't have done it without you, Williams. Thanks, Commander. I have to admit, I was a little worried about being assigned to the Normandy. It's nice when someone makes you feel welcome. I think you're gonna fit in here just fine, Williams. Thanks, Commander. Good timing, Commander. I was just about to bring us into the Citadel. See that taxpayer money at work. Ship of the Citadel fleet. Well, size isn't everything. Why so touchy, Joker? I'm just saying you need firepower, too. Look at that monster. Its main gun could rip through the barriers in any ship in the Alliance fleet. Good thing it's on our side, then. Citadel Control, this is SS Blue Normandy, requesting permission to land. Stand by for clearance, Normandy. Clearance granted. You may begin your approach. Transferring you to an Alliance operator. Roger, Alliance Talent, Normandy out. Normandy, this is Alliance Tower. Please proceed to Dock 422. This is an outrage! The Council would step in if the Geth attacked a Turian colony? The Turians don't found colonies on the borders of the Terminus systems, Ambassador. Humanity was well aware of the risks when you went into the Traverse. What about Seren? You can't just ignore a rogue specter. I demand action! You don't get to make demands of the Council, Ambassador. Citadel Security is investigating your charges against Seren. We will discuss the CSEC findings at the hearing, not before. Captain Anderson, I see you brought half your crew with you. Just the ground team from Eden Prime, in case you had any questions. I have the mission reports. I assume they're accurate? They are. Sounds like you convinced the Council to give us an audience. They were not happy about it. Seren's their top agent. They don't like him being accused of treason. Saren's a threat to every human colony out there. He needs to be stopped. The Council has to listen to us. 
Settle down, Commander. You've already done more than enough to jeopardize your candidacy for the Spectres. The mission on Eden Prime was a chance to prove you could get the job done. Instead, Nihilus ended up dead and the Deacon was destroyed. That's Saren's fault, not hers. Then we better hope the CSEC investigation turns up evidence to support our accusations. Otherwise, the Council might use this as an excuse to keep you out of the Spectres. Come with me, Captain. I want to go over a few things before the hearing. Shepard, you and the others can meet us at the Citadel Tower, top level. I'll make sure you have clearance to get in. And that's why I hate politicians. Earth Clan, you are in the wrong place, I think. Your ambassador is next door in the large office. Chastising remark. Don't be so rude, Din. At least introduce yourself. <sighs> I am Din Korlak, Volus Ambassador. Is there something I can do for you, Earth Clan? What is this place? You are in the embassy for the Volus and the Elcor. Your ambassador is next door, in his own office. In this shared space, I aid my fellow Volus, when I'm not being interrupted. I'd like to know more about the Volus. I'm sure our history and culture would bore you, Earth Clan. Actually, I would like to know more about your history. My people came to the Citadel shortly after the Asari and Salarians had discovered it. We were instrumental in establishing a standardized galactic economy. However, despite our long association with the Citadel and our many contributions to galactic society, we still do not hold a seat on the Council. Tell me about Volus culture. We are tribal by nature, but our ways are not violent. We barter and trade our lands and tribe members in order to increase status. Larger tribes often engulf smaller ones and eventually split again. Our society is very malleable, and our government is always shifting and changing. Since we're not physically adept, we trade our services for protection. What is it you do here? I look out for the best interests of the Volus people. No easy task, considering how often we are overlooked by the Council. Chastising rebuke, Din. The Council favors your species greatly. You are naive. The Earth Clan will be invited to the Council long before our species will. Why aren't the Elcor or Volus part of the Council? All species must prove themselves before they join the Council. All but the Earth Clans, it would seem. Dismissive. Ignore the Volus Ambassador, human. He is incorrect in his assessment. Really? How long have we been waiting? How long do you think we'll continue to wait? Bah! This talk is wasted on the humans. You seem to have a bit of a chip on your shoulder, Din. You humans are new to the Citadel, and yet the Council has granted you great favor. <sighs> Chastising rebuke, Din. Your species has always been granted many concessions. Volus territory has expanded tenfold since coming to the Citadel. <clears throat> Details. We still have no real say in the decisions that affect Citadel space. Goodbye, Ambassador. Yes, yes. Good day, Earth Clan. Hello there, human. Sincere apologies, but I am here on business and cannot be distracted right now. 
You seem distressed. Is there something I can do to help? Alarmed response. You overheard that, did you? This is all going so wrong. And it is the Asari consort's fault. She's the one who started all this. What did this Asari do to get you so upset? I cannot speak more about this problem. It is too sensitive. Suffice it to say, she has compromised my authority as a diplomat. Good luck with your problem. Thanks to you, human. Good day. Pleased greeting. Human, it is always good to see your kind. I am Ambassador Kalen. Genuine query. Is there something I can do for you this day? Goodbye, Ambassador. Sincere farewell. Good day to you, human. Enjoy your time on the Citadel. <laughs>